This is Witchspace News for Friday the 8th of May 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...Fleet Carrier Beta 2 starts on Monday ...the AXI's Fleet Carrier poll results are in ...and we'll have a sprinkling of news from across the Elite Dangerous community. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing to the channel and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. First off a reminder that the next beta test for the upcoming fleet carrier system starts this coming Monday the 11th of May and runs until the 26th of May. We did a breakdown of the changes to the system that have been introduced as a direct result of feedback from the last beta test which I've linked on screen now if you've not seen it already. Along with the announced changes Phase 2 of the beta will see commanders on the PlayStation and Xbox as well as the PC able to test the new systems before they launch in June. One point of particular note ...in order to gain a realistic picture of how carriers will behave with realistic numbers in the live environment they will still cost 5 billion credits to purchase however toward the end of the beta the price will drop to 1 million credits allowing a completely mad carrier free for all blowout period during which the bubble will likely burst because of the carriers being stuffed into it. Remember what happens in the beta stays in the beta ...there are no consequences whatsoever for the main game so by all means test to your hearts content and keep that constructive feedback coming. It clearly had a huge impact during the first beta. Still on the subject of carriers you may remember a couple of weeks back we reported on the AXI player group polling for opinions across the player base. Well that poll had well over 3000 respondents and the results are now in. Whilst obviously not a fully scientific and ratified method of gathering opinion the results are interesting if not entirely unexpected in a lot of cases. The stuff I found particularly interesting are the responses around how much in game money some commanders have access to ...spoiler it's quite a lot ...and how commanders prefer to earn credits in the game given the choice. Any way you cut it it's an interesting slice of the current community. There's a unique PvP event happening on the 15th of this month when the third monthly assassin event is being hosted by the Paladin Consortium Squadron. The event takes place in open in a 40km wide crater and will see each participant assigned a target player in the crater to kill. If you kill that player you then hunt their target down and so on until its last man standing. Any ship build is allowed as long as it's a medium class and spectators to the event are actively encouraged to bring their SRVs to the crater to watch the flaming debris fall around them. I had some great elite specific YouTube videos pass in front of my nose this week and I wanted to shine a light on them. Commander Nick Webb 85 uploaded a fantastic found footage style video log from an overconfident anaconda pilot. Commander Exorcist's latest video is the usual mix of calming visuals and zen inducing music until suddenly it isn't. Do check that out. And there's a new YouTube channel especially tailored towards the German speaking commanders in the community from Commander Science Keeper. And finally a quick reminder that Alec Turner and the Buckyball Racing Club are hosting their latest event from tomorrow. As the name implies the Signs of Life event will see participants gathering proof of alien life from airless worlds and returning it to a fixed start location in the shortest possible time. You'll find all of these and everything we've talked about this week as always linked in the description below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.